1964 Impala SS Restoration Part 6 Mount On to Frame Fixture. Hey, we've got a bonus for you this week. This is an upcoming project 63 Convertible Impala. And we're going to pick up where we left off on Part 5 on this 64 Impala SS Restoration. Now, it was on the rotisserie last time you saw it. It'd come back from the Media Blast, then we applied the uh, DP90, ordered the parts for it. We're going to get that thing mounted onto the frame fixture. Good. Yes. And we're going to get it rotated into position. And you can see some of the upcoming work that it's going to need. Yeah, really excited about this. Now, this is a real SS car. We haven't done an update video on it in a while. We're going to be starting work pretty quickly on it. And for all those out there doing restorations, things like that, get your parts coming. We're running into big problems with back-ordered parts, uh, parts not available, parts just disappearing. So if you're in the process or thinking about rebuilding a car, get your parts lined up now. That's kind of what's held us up on this car. Actually, we're still waiting on a couple of parts on this car. But we're going to work through that. We're going to get it mounted on the frame fixture and get started anyway. And moving on to that back mount. And now we're all unbolted. And we are free of the rotisserie. Now we're going to be installing the complete floor upper trunk, lower trunk, quarter panels on this car. So if you go in that in depth on any vehicle, you really want it on a frame fixture. And that's what we're mounting it onto right now. Now these are the front mounts and they just slide into the uh, factory mounts or where the uh, body mounts would be. And we're going to get our crossbar out of the way. Or lifting crossbar out of the way. And there it is. We'll get some nuts on those. Cinch that down. Now, I've made a couple of stanchions, and you can see they go under the supports there. That's going to be really important. And we're also going to make some stanchions on the back to locate the back mounts. Now, here's that upcoming project. Now, this is a 63 convertible. And this one came to us from... Somewhere around New York. Looks to be in pretty decent shape. What we're going to do is get it all tore down. Get it on the rotisserie. Media blast it. And then we'll see what we have. And I can already see a little bit of uh, rust damage there in the trunk area. And I noticed uh, we may be replacing the hood on it. And this is just a walk around. Just to... Let everybody see. It's pretty, pretty cool car. I think it's going to make a really nice driver. Yeah, there it is. And it appears to be pretty straight. It doesn't look like it's been in any major uh, collisions or 
any wrecks, any craziness like that. We'll know for sure once we get it torn down and uh, media blasted. I'm sure there's been some body work done before and it's been repainted. But outside of that, looks like a really nice start. See a few issues with that upper deck. And probably closer to November, December, we'll be getting uh, started on this project. Yeah, definitely a little pitting there. And let's take a look at the trunk. Yeah, we're, we'll see how that turns out once it's media blasted. Looks like it's had a uh, lower quarter skin put on it, on that side. And it's always really difficult to tell if a car is painted or primered. I mean, once it's broken down and media blasted, that's the only real way that you can ever assess a car. I mean, I get a lot of guys... You know, and I understand they asked me for a price on a restoration and it's, you know, until it's torn down and media blasted, there's no real way you can assess it because there is absolutely no way to tell what is underneath body filler or paint and really don't like to guess. But anyway, hey, we're just doing a walk around of this uh, car. We just received it. Just wanted to uh, let everybody take a sneak peek. Yeah, I wouldn't mind uh, owning this one. And get a shot under the hood and engine bay. And the, the Impalas always seem to have an issue on that firewall mating line. Yeah, that's, that's a really common, common place for there to be rust issues. That looks pretty much just like a original stock, unmolested 63 Impala convertible. Yeah, that we might be replacing the hood on that. And there it is. Hey, if you haven't had a chance to check out our merchandise shop, check it out. We appreciate any support that we get. And as always, 
Thank you for watching.